Let me start off by being much too cute about one of the interesting facts about The Simpsons Show, which I'm, I won't tell straight out. I'll make it a question. I'm going to ask you what these nine things have in common. Gun, car, drug, sea, air, cop, war, failure, success. Got that? According to Matt Groening, in a piece he did for LA Weekly, these nine things are the ways people die in Los Angeles. And a friend of mine gave me the drawing of these as a gift, and I thought it was just so great. The failure and success just killed me as, the, as, as ways to die in Los Angeles. And then, five years later, the Tracy Ullman Show goes on the air, and we decide that instead of saying, we'll be back in a minute with a card or something like that, we would do a little piece of entertainment for we'll be back in a minute. It's called Bumpers. And that these 30-second pieces, instead of just a card, we would have little cartoons. And I had this hanging in my office, what I just described, so I called this guy Matt. He came over. As he came over, he basically wrote down, you know, the core of what became The Simpsons. We put it on the air. It was on Tracy Ullman's show. And you'd hear these big laughs from the audience. It had always been Matt's dream. I find that the strangest thing, that Matt had always entertain the notion of a primetime animated show. That started to happen, and uh, Sam, Simon, I, and Matt got together and do it. And, and then we began, the three of us, you know, began doing the shows. A Simpson on a t-shirt. I never thought I'd see the day. At a certain point in The Simpsons' life, we got a magazine cover. For some reason, I put it on the wall. And then we got another one, and I put that on the wall. And then that thing that I had always seen happen to shows that I watched and had nothing to do with started to happen to us, this, this crazy thing where you are, for a moment, a phenomenon. And it's an impossible thing to ride. It's like you detach from it because it's just this weird energy that doesn't have to do directly with your work, but it's, but it's a weirdness. And I started to put up these little, you know, almost like as an oddity, started to put up these magazine covers. And I swear, before long, it was filled. It looked like, you know, the first draft of what, when, they, when they went over the top for Tootsie. Remember that magazine montage in Tootsie? And the magazines were so disparate. Many having nothing to do with television, many having nothing to do with entertainment. Uh, we'd get, I think we're on in the top of Time or, and or Newsweek. Magazines you didn't know existed, you know, satellite. We, it, it was amazing. And when things go as well as they've gone for us a lot, you, you know, it's... it's it's even more impossible to relate to. I mean, I'm, you know, I think it's when Matt had in, had in mind when he said success was one of the ways to, to die in Los Angeles, you know, right after failure. And, and the hundredth episode, because I've been part of a few hundred episodes before, I mean, and that's always just before you break the finish line. And it's a great celebration. And we had a great celebration, and it was 10 years ago. And, you know, so, so that's what you do. You shake your head. You have no way to answer the questions people ask. It's just been... You know, one of those things. So I, this is just the story on a human level. Nothing's worrying me.